Hey guys, and ready here. Today I will be doing a film review, and the film that I'll be talking about is The Butterfly Effect Part 3 Revelations. Now, this is an in name only sequel to the original 2003 Action Krishna film and the 2006 director video crappy film, but never bothered to even see. Um, Alright, so the, for me, right off the bat, the most interesting thing about this movie is that it takes place in the horror genre where the other first two films are more science fiction drama type of thing. Alright, so let me get into the plot. Alright, uh, the main character in this film has the same abilities as the Ashton Kushner character in the original, where he's able to go back in time. But here they found like a more interesting purpose for it, because what he does for a living is he goes back in time and he um, witnesses murders, then he comes back to the present, and he has a deal worked out with the local police chief where he pretty much tells him who committed these crimes and they go ahead and arrest the guy and he gets paid. Like, I'm not sure exactly how that would work and how they'd even believe anything he says. And I think that he was in on these murders, but somehow it works. And uh, another thing, too, um, unlike the other movies, he has a couple people that he, that he knows that know about the ability, like his sister and an older gentleman that he has befriended and um okay well, let me get into the crux of the plot um i guess a few years earlier uh, his girlfriend was murdered and his sister and his friend have always warned him about trying to solve the crime so he decides one day that he's going to go ahead and either try to solve it or save her life so he goes back in time but when he comes back he uh, has off a chain of a whole new set of murders that never happened before have now happened and he's got to try to fix it but and then things go downhill from there as they do in, in the uh, this series of movies in that sense with the alternate timelines and stuff like in a way I really wish this film wasn't really a sequel if they could have found a way to get around the whole time travel aspect although I really enjoyed this movie a lot um, one of the cool things about it is it has a really nice giallo feel to it. Um, it's pretty much an American giallo film. I don't know if that was intentional or not. Um, this DVD is um, bare bones, so there's no audio commentary where you can hear the director talk about what he was trying to do. Another thing that I really liked about this film was that it was shot in Detroit. Uh, and there's a lot of Detroit scenery. Like I know for most people that are not around from the area, they won't really care, but this is cool. Let's see, yeah. Uh, Detroit scenery. So hopefully I didn't forget anything I wanted to talk about. Oh yeah, there um, there is a German edition of this movie that's 15 minutes longer, so at some point I'd like to get my hands on that. Anyways, um, thanks for watching guys. Um, until next time, I'll talk to you later. <laughs>